In this video, we will demonstrate how to join the frame components of a Steelcraft F-Series three-sided masonry frame using the back welding technique. Back welding is a weld placed on the back face of the frame, where the two frame pieces meet. Compared to face welding, the back welded frame will be stronger and require less grinding, since only the weld that has penetrated through to the face will be removed. After painting, the frame joint will be seamless, resulting in a more pleasing appearance. For Steelcraft masonry frames, remove the perforated corner tab to allow access to the back face of the frame. Remove primer in the area to be welded. Ensure the tabs in the rabbited area of the frame are in a straight position. Assemble one corner. Ensure it's square. And bend the locking tabs outward, away from the frame opening. Repeat with the opposite jam. Throughout the process, continually ensure the assembly is square. Use a framing square to check. Clamp the faces together and ensure they are flush. Tapping with the hammer and feeling the seam as necessary. Then, tack weld the outside corners as shown. Repeat on the opposite jam, ensuring the faces are flush. Weld a shipping bar at the bottom of the frame into the door rabbit. Ensure the frame is square. Use the framing square against both corners as shown. Ensure the face of the head and the jam is flush, tapping with the hammer and feeling the seam as necessary. Then, tack weld the face at the inside ends of both miters. In this video, the tack weld is placed on the inside end of the miter joint of the upper face and the outside end of the miter joint of the lower face. The tack weld can be placed on the inside or the outside of the miter joint, whichever is more convenient for your setup. Repeat on the opposite jam. Ensure the face of the head and the jam are flush once more. Then, lay a bead of weld on the back face that covers the entire seam from the rabbet to the back bend. Push the weld puddle in front of the arc and move in a continuous motion. Moving too slowly may result in blowing a hole through the frame. Tack weld the outer corner as shown. A small amount of weld should penetrate through to the opposite face. This will be ground off during finishing, resulting in a seamless corner. Moving in a continuous motion will also create a continuous bead that will make grinding easier. Repeat 
repeat on the opposite jam. Check that the weld has penetrated from the back face to the front face. There should be a small amount of weld on the front face and a slight char to the primer. Carefully flip the frame over and repeat the process for the other two corners. If the frame will be moved to a grinding table, lift and carry it as shown. Using a 7 inch angle grinder, grind the face until it is smooth and flat. Use a low angle in a smooth continuous motion. Avoid going up and down and avoid going over it multiple times as it will increase the chance of dishing out the frame. If there is any weld on the inside corner, use a grinder as necessary to remove. Use a file on the corner to restore the radius to the face of the frame as shown. Using an orbital sander, sand over the entire area. Clean it off with compressed air, then restore prime coating to the inside and outside areas of the frame. Be sure to coat the weld on the inside of the frame for corrosion protection. For more information about Steelcraft frames, visit www.allegion.com or contact customer care at 877-671-7011.